Maskwira say Mureze Mbabwe. Welcome to our channel Zoom Confessions and Deep Secrets. Can I keep telling you about your new channel? Please don't forget to subscribe. Can I show you a subscriber? Don't forget to comment and share this video. Let's pray Zimbabwe. Hey, it's a big day in here. Ya budi tukwa na President Rubato Re Citizens Coalition for Change. Van Nelson Chamisa Avagabuda Vachishea. Uh, his vision, Mashtorai Wachiti, is defining a new path. Pane audio yataku vigirai. Maram so chamisa, Mashtora, Mamsoro, Penye I, Waka Chema Chema, and uh, Independence Wakati, uh, Nika. I see, I see my Zimbabweans, Hana Independence, Kana Achirara Mam Nika, Sezwa Iri, Hans Kana Wana Chitambura. There is no independence, Mare Zimbabwe, Tsingadi Westa, Mwe Nutriot Munzu, Odie, Mwe Matu Tazamuku Funga Pamsoro, Penye I, comment section hello 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 um, my dear friends i want to come to you just to appreciate you thank you very much for being part of this uh, chamisa news uh, channel network uh, we are going to be blasting and releasing a lot of uh, updates uh, we are going to be interactive of course on other platforms but here we will be feeding you with um, latest developments, news, our thoughts, perspectives, insights, uh, and more importantly, uh, wisdom uh, is uh, downloaded from our Father from on high. And I want to thank you that you continue to be, you know, uh, the wings to myself, you continue to encourage me, you continue to give me momentum. I wish to appreciate uh, what you do to me. May God bless you and may God be with you. You know that um, this year we are 44 years old as a people, as a country. And of course, uh, I would have wanted to say as a nation, but we are not yet a nation. A nation is about shared values, a shared vision, shared goals, shared aspirations, and shared dreams. Um, but at the moment, we have not yet shared a journey even. Uh, so we can't share a destination without sharing a, a journey. So this is why we've been emphasizing the need to come together, to come reason together, so that we reconnect to our mojo as a people. We reconnect to our coming together as a people. We are once again a one people, like we were during the liberation struggle, like we have always been in our communities. You know, in our communities, it's all about gathering together. You know, we sit around the fire, we chat, we share stories, we share inspirations, aspirations. Uh, we, we are a together people. We go to the fields together, uh, we go to church together, we attend funerals together, we mourn together, we celebrate and laugh together. We are a together people, basically. You know, we do things together. We go to deep tanks in the villages together. Uh, even in our workplaces, our lifestyles, our work styles, we are a together people. Basically, we do parties together. Uh, we worship together, we pray together, we sing together, we celebrate together, we praise together, we, we, we do things together. And that is who we are. That's Ubuntu. That's the Africanness of who we are. And that is what we would want to see in a proper uh, new uh, Great Zimbabwe, where we are able to come together and say, your problem is my problem, your issue is my issue, Ubuntu. You know, my challenge is your challenge. My being is your being. We, we are not selfish. We become a together people. Uh, and this is why, for me, when we reflect on independence, the 44 years, you know, you, you can't say there is independence when there is no basics. There is no independence without food on the table. There is no independence uh, when money is not in your pocket and when you don't have the roof above your head. Uh, there's no independence when food is not in your mouth or your stomach or in your house. Independence is about dignity. And dignity not just to your name, to your life, to your being, to your body. And dignity to the nation, pride and honor to our country. Right now we go to neighboring countries. We are treated as if we are second class people. We, know we are cheap people, but we are a people of value. We have dignity, we have politeness, we have attributes, we have principles. We have values. We are strong people. You know, we are a strong people. We, we, we are a great Zimbabwe people. We have a background that tells us who we are. You know, we have fought heroic battles and struggles, and we've won them. We, we have fought against adversaries, and we have won against them. 
So independence must be about our dignity. You c there's no independence when you are naked. There's no independence when you have nothing to your name, when you have no value, no wealth. We must be creating wealth as a nation. We must be regaining our status amongst the family of nations. Independence can be independence when millions of us Zimbabweans are scattered everywhere, dotted around, dotted around the capitals of the world. You know, seeking uh, employment, seeking opportunities in greener pastures. Why should we look at the grass that's greener on the other side when this grass is greenest in our own country? We have over 60 mineral resources. Uh, we, we are hard-working people, a peace-loving people. We are leadership people. We are a, a, a very humble people, a hospitable people. We are a nation of hospitality. Why should we have our people losing their dignity Macquarie query, you know, treated as Macquarie query, you know, uh, derogatory names for, for ourselves, killed, being victims of xenophobia, racism, and other discriminatory practices. We are a great people, and that should be who we are. And that's why I was emphasizing that, yes, independence must have a new meaning. Independence must mean our dependence on God. It must mean money in our pocket food in our homes, jobs for the young people, decent jobs and salaries, opportunities for you and me, world-class conditions, systems. You know, our uniformed servicemen and women must be a people of honor. We must have pensioners being given the dignity of work, of having worked and uplifted the country and the economy and the commerce of our land. I mean, no drugs in the hospital. Independence is about drugs. It's about books in the schools. School fees that's affordable, affordable education, education for every child, good and accessible roads across the whole country. We shouldn't be having dust roads. We shouldn't be having gullies and donkers as roads. Mihomba and Bambaya, let's have proper roads. Let's have proper roads everywhere. It's about leadership. We are in a nation of land, uh, in a nation of land that is so rich, rich soils. Let's give title to our land. Let's have title deeds. Let's have land for every Zimbabwean. People must have land and must not be moved or displaced from their land. That's what we are all about. Free speech, election. Not in Makas or Votera Party. Why do you support this party and not that party? Anybody must support their own party. And changing political parties must be like, you know, having one government and another, just like in Ghana, just in like Botswana, it's happening elsewhere here on the continent. Let's change political parties like we are changing diapers. You know, not to have this thing where it's almost like taboo, a one-party state. We must have a multi-party state. In fact, we've even gone further. We are worse off. It's no longer a one-party state. It's a one-man state, a one-family state. That cannot be. We must not have that. We can't be that. Let's have proper money. Decent salaries for our workers and even for our civil servants. Dignity and decency and honor for each and every citizen. Happiness for you, happiness for me, freedom for you, freedom for me, opportunity for you, opportunity for me. What makes the difference between a millionaire and a pauper is opportunity. We must be a nation of opportunity, a nation of millionaires. Of course, we can all be millionaires. But when you are even a worker in a nation that's rich, you're a millionaire. Millionaireship is not just measured by the money in your pocket. It's also measured by your dignity, your value, your worth and your wealth. Your value will be quick to future generations. Let's build a functional and well-maintained infrastructure system that works. These are the hallmarks of independence. Thank you very much. True independence is coming. And the hallmarks of a true independence are oneness and togetherness. A united people, a united nation, a together society, a together generation. That's who we are. I wish you well. May God bless Zimbabwe. May God bless you, my fellow colleagues. Everywhere where you are, show love, share love. Let's be holy. Let's be pure. Let's not hate each other. Let's show love. Let's share love. Let's all show that we can do it for our country. We can build a better country. And we can make Zimbabwe that great nation, that new great Zimbabwe. I thank you.